Are you duck? Well, have I got something exciting to show you. <gasps> You've been waiting, well, how long? Very long. <laughs> from from the moment we launched our brand, um, you've been waiting for this. So today, I'm going to show you our core acrylic range. <laughs> so here I've got our core range. So we've got glass slipper, we've got in the buff, We've got strip tees and be, 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 be. it's about a bum. What's it called? Bare booty. Bare booty, that's the one. <laughs> and strip tees. No, it's white. No, white. white. Sorry. Right, so we've got basically, <laughs> oh my, see, even I'm getting used to what everything's called and I've named them, I know. So we've got glass slipper, which is clear. We've got in the buff, which is a natural colour. Then we've got um, White Lightning, which is white. Then we've got Strip Tees, and we've also got a Bare Booty. Now I've pulled this one out just so you can see we sell them in two different sizes. So yes, we've got these gorgeous. I mean, I'm sorry. Can we just take a moment for the packaging? <laughs> Um, so yeah, two different sizes, a 33 gram and a 13 gram. So if you if you just want to try it, you can buy the 13 gram. And then once you fall in love with it, you can always buy the bigger version. Um, so yeah, I'm going to swatch these down and we're also going to do a beautiful pink and white nail. Are you excited? I am. I'm so excited. Right, okay. Do you know what? You've been waiting to do this. I've you? been waiting a very long time for this. This is glass slipper, which is our clear. I've obviously been using this already, obviously. <laughs> Sorry. Saying, I'm definitely full when I, say I that. know. So I'm going to bounce three times. There's your clear. I know it's not very exciting because it's just clear but it's lovely and clear. Right, then we've got In The Buff, which is our natural colour. Bounce three times. That's your natural. Then we've got White Lightning. And I'll show you how to use White Lightning. I know a lot of people, like, they really struggle with white a lot of nail techs go oh i just i just can't get on with white we'll show you how to use it because it's super easy so you can see that is super white white lightning then we've got strip tees <laughs> these colors are custom made we have created the blend ourselves and we have been backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards many times with our manufacturer just to get it how I wanted. Mm. Much to Adam's um, dismay, like, <laughs> are we ready yet to launch? No. More testing. So this is Striptease. I will say it is, it's my favourite colour. And then I will show you. So this is a smaller packaging. So this is a 13 gram. I've obviously used this a lot as well. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is Bare Booty. One, two, three. Highly, highly pigmented. So you can see the shade difference. And they are... Your core range, you will not need anything else but a core range. So you've got your five colours there. So yes, they're beautiful. The packaging is just beautiful. And then I've got another thing to show you, which is our primer. This is our gorgeous primer bottle. I'm very proud of it. Very, very proud of it. I absolutely love it. So yeah, that's the primer. It's an acid-free primer. But yeah, we'll crack on and show you how it works. 
So we're going to use our sculpting forms. So with our sculpting forms, depending on the length that you're going to do, because our sculpting forms, they break here, so they split. So you can do shorter nails and you can do extreme nails. So for this nail, I'm not going to do an extreme nail. If I was doing an extreme nail, see this tab, I would put that there. But because I'm not, we're going to put it here. Because we don't need to add any thickness at the end or support or anything like that. These sculpting forms also have aluminium inside. If you, we did the video, didn't we, where we set yeah. it on fire? Yeah. Set we, it on fire? Didn't we do the video where we set it on fire? I don't remember setting anything on fire. Have you been setting all the sculpting forms alight? Yeah. <laughs> it's some, you know when I do my courses, it's yeah. something that we do. All right, okay, it's like a full-on demonstration. Do you yeah. have a Do you have a, a fire marshal? Um, Vanessa. <laughs> Vanessa, yeah. Yeah, Vanessa's the fire marshal. Um, but anyway, I'm not telling you to set it on fire, but if you did, you would see the aluminium inside. <laughs> um... But yeah, so sculpting form, I'm going to roll this to create a nice C curve and it'll hold nicely because of the metal that's inside of the form. We're going to do a square nail. All I'm going to do is just close those tabs there just a little bit. I'm going to open the back because we're doing a square nail and I'm going to offer the form up to the finger. And what we're going to do is slightly raise the form. I'm going to check my side view. Oh, this is so good for doing that. I literally can just turn a finger like that. How cool is that? <laughs> <laughs> Look, she, she behaves. Nice and easy. Yeah. And then, I'm straight. I can check I'm straight. Then we can close these tabs. I am just going to take her off for a second because I just want to make sure I can see fully what I'm doing. So, those two tabs, nice and aligned. Then we can close kind of a luxury to be able to do that isn't it it is yeah <laughs> so i just if it was a person i would grab the person's hand and hold it like this twist the hand off yeah and then what we want is we want the form sitting no wider than the natural nail this is our pretend natural nail today and the form at the end needs to be nice and round you can see we've got like a fat teardrop shape it's not a tight teardrop so it's not like if you're doing a um a ballerina nail for instance we're going to be nice and parallel okay for demonstration purposes i'm just going to show you the primer <laughs> don't need it because it's on a plastic tip but we've got a nice rounded tip brush easy to apply one coat of that is plenty if you do struggle with somebody who's got really problematic um, nail beds. So if somebody really does struggle with lifting because their nail beds are really oily, then you can go and do it again. But I wouldn't do it straight after. Let that sort of air dry, then go in with your second coat. Okay. So by the time you've done sort of all of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then you can just go back. Mm -hmm. But don't just don't pile it on. You know, avoid the skin. We don't want to, um, you know, overexpose the skin. Luckily, we have Ali Aliana today. So I'm going to use my Oscar the Wild brush, which is the larger brush of these two brushes. So we've got a Mr. Buttons brush and we've got an Oscar the Wild brush. So Mr. Buttons is a little bit smaller, size 10. And then Oscar the Wild is size 12. Um, size 10, perfect for infills, absolutely the go-to brush. But because we're starting from scratch, we're going to use the Oscar, the wild brush. If you didn't know, they're named after my cats. I am going to lay down a thin bead of In The Buff. You can do this in clear as well, but I'm going to use In The Buff because we're doing a French. And I want something that's a little bit milky in the background, but it's going to be really thin. So I'm going to go one, two, three, 
look at the bead, check the bead, one, two, three, onto the nail. Wipe the brush, because we're cleaning and we're reshaping the brush. Then we're going to make contact with that nail. And we're just going to blend back, just so we make contact. We've created that bridge between the free edge and the natural nail. And then we're going to pat, press and pull. And you can see that the product will get nice and thinner. It's, you know, it's controlled. So this is our natural colour. So you can see it's a little bit sort of like a milky colour. And this is really thin. So the thinner you go with this product, obviously the more transparent it will be. This layer does need to be super thin. If it's not thin, it will affect your French free edge. Making sure my flies are nice. So what's the setting time like? I haven't got a clue. <laughs> <laughs> In seconds? No, I mean like, I, well, I've, ne I've never used it obviously, so I don't know what. It's not a fast set, okay. but it's also not a slow set. It's a very medium set, easy to use. It's, you know, it's yes, it's setting now. You can see it's going matte. And as it's going matte, you know that it's starting to polymerize and it's starting to set. So while, as that does that, you can see we can still press it and I can still move it and still like readjust anything. You will just use a different part of the brush. So you'll use more of the belly to the stock end of the brush to add a little bit more pressure but you can still move it yeah mm. but it's not going to run everywhere mm. so that's that one i feel like i've got to be dead gentle with it because they're new papers <laughs> then we're going to use we're going to use bare booty now one two three 45 degree angle i'm going to tap out the liquid from the brush because I want it to stay still when I put that on. And I'm going to bring this down and we're going to feather this side first. So this making contact with the natural nail. Blend that out a little bit. We don't worry about the smile line at that point. Now we're going to do the smile line. So you notice when I popped that on, I turned my brush like this. That helped to get that round smile line so this is reverse application we're extending the nail plate making that nail bed look nice and long and thin and i'm creating the wall of product here so a lot of people get tempted to pull this down 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 like an almond nail that's not what you want to do you want to make sure this is nice and neat and it's upright now you can tap the top and it will actually neaten it up even more and then come in just sweep side to side check your wall see how i press that like that it's just sharpened this up i'll do the same here again i'm pressing it with the belly to the stock end of the brush And then, you could then do another bead of this, but this is how I like to do my extensions. I like to do it this way. I use both colours, hence the reason we had striptease. Like, it was probably one of the hardest products to get right, because Little Miss here is very fussy. Um, so we're going to go quite low. One, two three i'm not going to bleed that out see how i check the bead and you're starting getting shiny now so we're going to pop that down press clean my brush and we're going to go at a high angle with the brush just to get that nice and flush and we're teasing that to the edges of the nail then i'm going to clean my brush and then we're going to pull this over which is going to create our apex and it's also going to feather those two colors together and together 
for me, it's the perfect colour for the nail bed. So we see we've got like a really solid colour here. So this is really solid. So Bare Boot is really solid and a lovely high pigmented powder. So if you're extending, you don't see the nail through because we don't want to see the natural nail through here. But at the back, and when we file this, and if it was a real person, it's ever so slightly transparent at the back here, which means it looks more natural. You will still see the um, lunar, so you'll see that half moon on the natural nail, which gives it more of a natural look. I just looked at my hands there. When you said that, I was like, do I have one? No. I do on my thumb. You do on your thumb? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I just, uh, instantly when you said it, it just made me look. Yeah, you're like, oh. Yeah, so you'd see like this sort of lunar here, um, which makes it look more natural. Because um, what I find is, yes, you can do, you can use Bare Booty and do a full cover nail, gel polish on. You're not, you don't, you don't need to do it this way because you're not going to see any of this colour. You just need it there for structure. Yeah, that's fine. But if you are using these colors as your background you know it's gonna people are gonna see this color this is the perfect way to do it to use those two colors together yeah makes sense mm -hmm. but if i was going to put gel polish over it and you weren't going to see it then i'd just use the one color you could use either of them because you're not going to see this smile line but today we're doing smile lines we want to make sure that we are masking out the natural nail underneath you know we're doing like foundation on it, you know what I mean? We're making it flawless. So it's a perfect blend. So because this is yes we did this section first, but it's still bendy because it's so thin. And that's what's really important as well. So you could pinch the nail at this point because everything's gone nice and matte. You could pinch here. So you could put your pinching tool on, give it a little bit of a pinch. And then what I do is I'll be working under the nail. I would actually sculpt out all these natural, all this natural colour here, this in the buff. I would do that on all of them first because I get, you get you get quicker if you if you just concentrate on one nail and you're doing, you know, three different steps like we've just done here, you'll be slower. But if you do it on all of them, do each. So you'll do the um, in the buff, then you'll do bare booty then you'll do strip tees, yeah? And you'll do that on all of them and you'll be quicker doing it that way. So we can take that off. I'm gonna pop the lid on top of this. That is, is that not just the most beautiful colour you ever did see? I love it. I'm slightly proud of it. I'm, I, you know, you just give, give it me, I'm proud of it. So then you can get a metal file or you can use you can use the files, you know, with the metal center board. It's absolutely fine. But if you really want to perfect that smile line, you can go in and file. Now, if you're doing salon speed nails, you won't do this. You'll just go straight in with your white. But if you see any imperfections and you think, oh, that's a bit off, you can come in with your metal file and it'll get it nice and crisp. So it's important that, that that layer here, so this colour is in the buff that's on this free edge. It's important that that layer is there. You don't have to use that colour, you could use clear. But I like to use in the buff. Unless I'm doing a clear transparent free edge. Obviously I'd use clear. I'm going to rehydrate this with my brush. I've got rid of all the dust, but then we're going to go white. Now, this is where everybody gets a bit scared because it's like, <gasps> the white, white is just so scary. We're going to go one, two, three. It's quite a big bead, yeah? So I'm going to pop that on. And it looks really dry right now, don't it? And you're like, oh my God, it's too dry. That means you'll start to touch it and touch it and touch it and touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Not yet. I clean my brush. I'm like, yeah, I'm making this brush really nice. And then... Yeah, you could see it sort of like... As if it had crumbs in it that were just yeah. suddenly dissolved. It's like wet sugar, isn't it? Wet sugar? Yeah. I've never seen wet sugar before. Get lost. 
I don't know what you mean by wet sugar. I'm going to go and wet some go sugar wet now. Go wet some sugar and that's what it looks like. And that's what you want it to look like. And then you leave it. <laughs> some of your descriptions are so weird. Do you know what though? <laughs> My viewers, they know, they know what I mean. <laughs> Wet sugar. Oh, wet sugar. All right, okay. Go wet some sugar. I believe you, thousands would, you know. So, we can still move it, yeah? So you think at that point, oh, it's too wet, it's too wet. It's, 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 no, it's too dry, it's too dry. It's not going to move. I'm going to have to start touching it. I'm going to have to start flooding it with liquid. No, wrong. You're going to leave that for around 20 seconds. And you'll see that it starts to go shiny. So as soon as that starts getting shiny, you can start to move it. And look, I can pat and press and pull this. And it's still moving. It's still moving nicely. Just going to make sure I'm right up to that wall. doesn't even matter if you go over the top like that, because that could be filed away. I'm making sure I've got enough product at the sides. I'm covering all the free edge, making sure it's even. And if you do competition nails, this is the perfect white for you. Okay, so we've got the white on. One thing I do as well is, can you see in the bottom of my dampen dish? Can you see that, that lint-free white? Ah, yeah. That will take off any residue, do you know, especially if you're doing glitter. If you're doing glitter and you're picking glitter up, it'll catch out of it and it'll take it out of your brush. So if you struggle with clogging your brush up with product, that lint-free pad will actually pull it off. Mm. It's a, and, and it's so easy to do, do you know what I mean? Just put just put a lint-free pad in. You, you Some people use um, cotton wool, but I find that you still get fibres off cotton wool. So we definitely use a lint-free pad to do that with. So... Put my lid on there. We're going to let this set up. So we've gone a minute. Now let's touch it. So we're still a bit bouncy. Still a little bit sticky. It's still moving. So I'm not going to put that that pinching tool on just yet. We're going to give it another minute. But the benefit of this white not setting uber quick is you don't need to panic about getting that white on and getting it neat. People end up making a sloppy mess and it gets all in the brush and they can't clean the brush and it's all white residue in the brush and you've messed up your monomer, monomer and you've got to change your monomer and it's just like, oh, it's just all a big mess. So this still moves so you can still perfect it. Hence, less filing time. Nobody wants to be filing forever, do they? So that's another minute. And I can pinch it and I'm not going to dent it. Notice how I'm pinching it with gloves. I'm not overexposing myself to acrylic. And then you can pop your pinching tool on. Right, so I'm going to take this form off now. You'll notice that I've got this band on my finger. And that's because it makes it super, super sticky. So it's like a little trick of how to... Because look, it doesn't even want to come off. It's a little trick of how to get your sculpting forms to stick when you've got a prosthetic... Pardon me, a prosthetic hand... Um, let me just drag that back. Um, Aliana do sell, they do sell um, a purposely made, I don't know what they call it. They call it something. It's like a plastic thing and you heat it up and it shrinks to the finger. Dead oh. smart. Dead smart. Mm. I just haven't been sent them yet. I need to buy some. Is it like that stuff that you put on like wires? Like at some you can get like you know when you join two wires together, yeah. you can put this thing over the top of it, and then you heat heat it up with a lighter or something, and it'll just go. Oh really? And suck to it, yeah. And oh, like, maybe talk, it. Yeah. I think, I think like it's that. a bit like the. Do you know when you go in these expensive trainer shops and they're all shrink wrapped? Yeah, 
Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. He's a bit like that as well. Because you oh, can't got... touch the trainers. You go in them shops, don't you? I got new trainers. I seen you got new trainers. Yeah. They are very nice. They are very Another nice. pair of Jordans to Adam's collection. Yeah, I'm getting fucked. I nearly bought some more last night and I was like, no! 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 Because no. <laughs> Haley's. Haley's like, listen, I keep tidying this house and getting rid of stuff and you just keep putting more trainers in it. <laughs> and and I'm, I'm running out of places to put trainers. And I was like, right, what can I build? I think I need to put like, maybe it's like in the spare room or something, like a shelf around the top of the room. Yeah, well, um, phase. Nick's got, got a whole top. thing. Yeah. Just for, just for, oh, sorry. It's mm. deafened everybody with the mic. He's got a whole like, Room just for his trainers. A room for his trainers. Yeah. Wow, and I don't got, have that many. He's got all. Yeez- I've got about he's got twelve. Yeezys. He's got right. Yeezys and he's got a Yeezy sign in neon. Wow, yeah, that's it's just small. That's a, that's a bit much for me. Like, yeah. but I've got about twelve pairs of Jordans, so I need I do need to put them somewhere. You're saying that's a bit much for you. I think you would have a Jordan <laughs> neon sign in your. I think I would actually when I, when I get the new house. I think you will. Right, so we're going to file this. So I'm going to do the same filing routine as I always do. And then we'll top coat. So we're going to glossy top coat. Certainly is. It is glossy. And into the lamp. Oh, shall we give Aliana some cuticle oil? <laughs> you need some cuticle oil for Aliana. Oh, really. Aliana, you need some cuticle oil, Doc. <laughs> but it doesn't soak in, so it just stays there. I know. You're so daft. There you are, babe. You've got some cuticle oil for you. And there you are. So that is how to do a French. Nice shop smile line. The nail bed extension colour is the one for me. Nice C curve. There you are. Perfect French. Using the Kirsty Beacon acrylic range. <laughs> oh, so yeah, there you are. If you want to know where to get all these products, if you go to the link in the description box, it'll all be there. And yeah, um, don't forget tag us because we want to see what you create with the core range. All right, and I'm going to go. Thank you very much, Doc. Ta-ra, Doc. <laughs>